my name is Jocelyn and I have been with Rudd since 2017, so about five years, I think, coming up on six. Um, just thinking back like to my dance journey in general, um, when I started coming here, that was the first like actual training that I had had. Beforehand, I was with like, Little League Cheer, I did uh, musical theater, but I hadn't had any hip hop or any other kind of dance training before coming here. So when I tell you that that first class was rough, it was a little, a little rough. So um, it's just one of those things where when I look back at it and I'll sometimes go back and look at that very first video that I did and, it, and then look at like my most recent video that I've done now or the fact that I'm choreographing now um, and just think on the fact that I didn't start dancing until I was an adult. I was 19 when I first started. And just having to get past the fact that I'm dancing with people that have been dancing since they were two and three years old. And I've been training in ballet and jazz and the competitions. Um, it's just one of the things that I realized that one, God is so good because like, I like, I wouldn't have had this brought out of me if it weren't for, there was people at my church that pointed me towards Rudd um, cause they saw me like dancing around or I guess trying to dance around at like different youth events and stuff like that. Um, but it's just one of the things where it's really nice to see that it does not matter how old you are when you start, the, the point is that you start. And that once you start, if it's something that you want to stick with it, whether it's dancing, music, uh, writing, cooking, anything like that, if you want to do it, you start with it and you like stick with it and do not stop. Opportunities that I've had since dancing here and coming here have been crazy. My first year here, I remember I had only been dancing at that point for like three or four months. And I was teaching at the summer camp, the hip hop summer camps that we usually have here, which was wild to me because I'm over here like, I don't know how to dance, but you know what? We're having a good time. Um, I've been, since then though, I've been officially brought on to staff here. So I get to teach the kids classes or assist in any of them. I get to teach the adult classes as well. And that's just one of those things that like attests to, it, again, it does not matter when you start. Because I didn't think that when I started, it was just trying to figure out how to move and control my body that I would be consistently teaching here today. Um, I've also been able to be brought on to teach at other studios and other places because of Rudd, because of my training and the work that people have put into me here. My favorite opportunity by far um, is I just started working at an elementary school in, in the special needs program and I would not have gotten that job if it were not for Rudd. Um, I remember I went there back in the beginning of summer to teach a hip hop class for the special needs program there. And by being there and teaching that class, I found out that they had a position open for an instructional aid and that it was full time and salary and with benefits. And all by being there, to just teaching a dance class for Rudd, just going to do one of the things that I love the most, got, like, it helps set up things to now I am doing a job. Now it's two jobs, I guess, that I very much love. Like, I love working with those kids there at that school and the challenges and the creativity that it brings. And then getting to come here at night and spend my evenings here, um, getting to create and have fun with the kids here as well. So one of the things about me is family is like super important to me. Like I love having people that are close to me, whether it's a lot, a little, I don't care. And so the family aspect of Rudd is my favorite thing because you come in here and immediately somebody's talking to you, probably me. But somebody's gonna talk to you, get to know your name, get to know your story, and make you feel so welcome that you're like, wait a minute, I didn't expect this from a dance studio. I think that what Rudd has is special and that when you come in, you immediately feel like you have found a family. Whether you're just passing through, whether you're here to stay, whether you're just checking it out, trying to get a feel and test the waters, you'll realize that we are a very close knit family but not too close to it to where anybody would feel excluded. I think my work ethic comes from like watching my mom. Um, she's a single parent and like watching her have to provide and work super hard to provide for me and my brother and herself as well, just kind of like inspired me to work hard at whatever it is that I do. And I know like for me, when I love something, I want to like get as good at it as I can and like be the best that I absolutely can. And there's something that's so rewarding about watching all of my hard work pay off. Um, like I said, seeing my progress from when I started five years ago to now, and to looking like it wouldn't, I wouldn't have had that much growth if I didn't put in the work and work hard. Um, 
So I just want to encourage you guys there today, like I said earlier, it doesn't matter when you start, it matters that you start and that you continue to work hard at it and do not quit or give up because it's going to get hard. Like there have been many times like where I was in class being like, did I really just dance like that? Like, why does it, ooh, I like not feel like I did my best or feeling like I was like lost or confused the whole class, but I don't use those as like setbacks. I'll look at those and be like, okay, I had a rough spot there, but the next one will be better. And I noticed like, each time, even with learning this past year, how to do jazz and honing in on break dance and stuff like that, working hard at those things have led to steady and steady improvement.